Hi folks, Steven here. Wanted to give you a little bit of a summary of my first day at the Pokemon European Internationals 2017 here in London, England. So, first thing I want to qualify, you know I go to these events, I, I do apply for press privileges, but uh, in this case I was only able to get um, a spectator badge. Uh, I talked with some of the folks there, they kind of explained that they didn't really give out a lot of uh, media passes for this one for whatever reason. Um, I don't feel personally slighted, I do sometimes get passed over and that's, you know, I'm not the highest person on the totem pole on any of this, so it doesn't bother me too much, it is a little disappointing, but these things happen. So just so you kind of understand what that means, I'm not going to be doing quite as in-depth. I will try to arrange some interviews, but I'm not going to be as, you know, uh, involved as I might be on some other ones. In any case, once I actually got there this morning, things were pretty crowded, and you can kind of attribute that to Masters, TCG, and VGC selling out. And remember today, the juniors and seniors aren't even playing. So, you know, that's how things are. Um, and uh, I found out when I got there that side events weren't going to start until about 3.30 in the afternoon, which was later than I would have liked, but given sort of the space concerns, I guess they had to wait till some people dropped and sort of things thinned out a little bit before they could do much of anything. So until then, I just socialized and, uh, you know, sort of watched the streams in person uh, for a while. But eventually it got to the afternoon portion, and... You know, I signed up for the sealed event they were running, and, and this is essentially the same as a pre-release. Uh, the prizing is, is, is a little bit different, but basically what happens is you get a box that has uh, a couple evolution lines in there, a promo, and four booster packs. I ended up with a Gastrodon, Gyarados GX, uh, Beware uh, deck that was uh, pretty interesting. I, I did manage, however, to also work in a little bit of uh, back home in Wisconsin in there. I managed to pick up a couple mill tank in my packs and, and make good use of those. So the the round structure, there were four rounds of the three I usually get, and these were best of three 30 minutes instead of uh, 20 minutes single game, so a little bit unusual, I guess I would say. Uh, as far as the memorable matches, uh, first round, you know, I used those mill tank for all they were worth, I actually managed to win the first game on uh, my opponent's deck out when I really thought I was going to lose. And, you know, this is where the time thing kind of came in. I really would, part of me kind of wishes in any way that the rounds were a little bit longer. Um, but uh, we really just barely set up and uh, for second game, and that didn't really complete, so. Uh, the other really memorable one was the fourth round. Uh, this was my first time, at least I remember, really playing against someone where English was not their first language. It might have happened one or two times before, but this really stuck out to me. And uh, to give the guy good credit, he did you know, make a very good effort there, and we sort of bridged things and, and whatnot. But uh, just having to do that was a really interesting uh, experience. And I think I grew a little bit, so a lot of fun there. In case you're wondering, um, I managed to get three and one um, over the course of the four rounds and got some tickets off of that that I'll build up and maybe get some stuff in the prize wall. But uh, definitely looking forward to, to tomorrow. Uh, if you have any questions about what I talked about here, please leave a comment. Always like that. All right, folks, thanks.